peace, peace, family. So I'm back with another one. Today, what I wanted to do is I wanted to talk to my chosen ones about how the opposition does show how consistently where they stand. You know what I mean? A lot of us used to go through that process of saying like how inconsistent some of these beings are around us. But when you actually look at it, you'll actually see where they are pretty consistent at. You know what I'm saying? And it's pretty consistently low vibrating and low hanging fruits. You know what I mean? And you only going to be able to experience this and process this but so much before you start to become aware and want to operate and do things differently yourself. You know what I mean? We can point the finger outwardly. First of all, let me correct it. Most of us do not even point the finger outwardly until after we've pointed the finger at ourselves. Let's just clear that out the way first. Because first we are looking at ourselves like, what the fuck is going on with us? What's up with this situation? What's up with this energy? What's up with the vibes? And then from there, that's when it transitions to, oh, this ain't the space I be in. This energy is coming from somewhere else. And when you start understanding everything in this realm on an energetically, spiritually level, frequency, energy, vibrations. Three ways you should think of this, this, this realm right here. Frequency, energy, and vibrations. You'll realize that every day we're always sharing energy with something out here. Something. The trees are sharing with each other and they're sharing with us. The squirrels, the, the birds. All of us are all occupying the same space. So we all affect each other. But then you have some of these brainwashing spells that make you feel as though like the outside energies aren't effective which we always have to correct or they wouldn't put liquor stores in every hood or low income area, you know what I mean? But I've been pretty fried today, but I realized like I'm still pretty consistent in what I do, even on my drain days where I'm kind of just out of it, zoned out. I've been fighting a lot of battles. Usually my exchange days with my mini is pretty rough because this is one of the longer breaks. So it's, it's always a process, right? Which, that's usual, schmusual, you know what I mean? But um, they are pretty consistent in their actions, you know what I mean? You'll consistently have to reiterate certain things to them. They'll consistently show you where they stand. They'll be consistently vibrating at that weird place. It's such a weird space, and it's like... I've heard one, but it's not the only one that I've heard say it before, right? And it's just kind of like, it's just kind of like, oh, they had to work really hard to keep their energy up, right? That's a lot of activity. They had to work really hard to keep their energy up. For most of us, like, and I guess I got to reframe that because when they say it wasn't hard for them to keep their energy up. The fight was them being in a higher vibration. So being around high vibrational beings and you a low vibrational being, right? It's a fight to stay up here. But then for us, if we down here, it's a fight to get from down there. And it's the it's the opposites with the energy. And when you communicate, and when I'm communicating outwardly and I hear some of them say these things sometimes, it just, you know, I, I feel bad to a certain degree. But then, you know, if it's someone close to me, their actions always remove that, that guilt feeling or feeling bad or sympathy or empathy. That it will remove it every single time, you know what I mean? But they are consistent in what they do. The same way we consistent in how we fight. They're consistently given friction, you know what I mean? So, it's, it's hard to go around beings and, you know, you, you either you want to be a part of a tribe or you're building one, you know what I'm saying? So, either you're stepping into a leading position or you're learning to be, you know, the best follower slash leader from the position where you are at, you know what I mean? 
And a lot of people got a hard time with the concept of following. And I think it's just because it's a lot of demonic entities out here. So when you are moving around a lot of demonic entities, it's, they don't feel like they're supposed to be in the positions they're in. So it's hard for you to kind of give them the respect and the, the acknowledgement that they feel they should have or that that position comes with. You know what I mean? And that's just like... So it's all part of the process, you know what I mean? And it's kind of like, if you if you know gang culture, it's like most gangs, you get jumped in physically. But then you have some special situations where some dudes, they don't even get jumped in. You know, they kind of get blessed in. And it's like, the rest of the homies and gang members, they don't look at them the same way. Even though they have to, quote unquote, give them that respect because of where it came from and how they got the stain or whatever. But it's the same process, you know what I mean? These beings are pretty consistent in what they do. You shouldn't be surprised. You just have to be consistent in your process as in to being aware of the tactics and changing it up. You know what I mean? If every other day, every two, three days, somebody got to have a demonic episode of possession, uh, eventually you got to stop casting pearls among swine. You know what I mean? And that's going to be... It's kind of hard because you don't process it that way when you're doing it. When you're actually in the event, the situation that is happening, you don't process it as you cast in pros among swine. You're just trying to help and give as much insight, energy, information, direction, you know, that you can possibly give to help somebody be in a better space or build their space. Whatever, whatever your intentions, you know, in, in that situation had going on per se. You know what I mean? And it's just a weird process, you know. I've been in a space to now where it's like I'm already breaking generational curses so I already have family bloodline genetics that I battle with consistently you know what I'm saying so and anybody that's breaking those you're gonna have those battles that's your own personal battle you know that ain't even the battle that I would even put connected one to one hand to hand with my BM that's his own separate battle I can say they all won but when I'm looking at it in a 3D realm, it's two separate battles. But spiritually, it's all one battle, you know, because it's only two playbooks. So if they was using, if we was using the same playbook, it wouldn't be that much resistance or friction. It wouldn't be that much battling, you know what I mean? And I had um, I had a female speak up one day, right? I was, we was just regular conversating and like... I guess I said something that it wasn't too appeasing to them and they kind of felt like they needed to take defense to what was being said. And uh, instead of using the appropriate words, it was like the tone and the tension, everything got more aggressive. And it was like, and I, and I had said something about like, the conversation got directed somewhere where this being was using their defense as a strength. Now the problem with certain beings using their defense as a strength is your defense and your strength is supposed to be connected to your belief system. It, it's all supposed to go hand in hand. That's what's making it stronger. That's what's giving it strength. You know what I'm saying? So if if you barking up to someone or or your being or someone around you, friend, family member who's been giving you insight, information, who's been there, you know, you kind of seen their process. You've probably been through their process, blah, blah, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You use your defense mechanism as strength and power. That's, that's not strength and power. Vocal, being more vocal or projecting louder or interjecting because you feel like you have to respond to a certain statement that that isn't strength and power you know the strength and power is gonna be if, if it was real strength and power then you could have waited till everything was finished and said then you would have clarified and cleaned it all up in your communication you know what i mean and i notice a lot of beings do that too they use like 
being aggressive as saying that's strength or being loud as saying that's strength. That's not strength. That don't have anything to do with strength. You know what I mean? Like, I wasn't the strongest person in prison, but I ain't had nobody try me either. You know what I mean? So that don't have anything. I don't have anything to do with that. But as far as your real strength, that's going to come from how you've been standing solid. You know what I'm saying? You using your other situations and circumstances that you build, you've been through to kind of help, you know, keep you grounded when you got bad weathering coming through. You know what I'm saying? Like, say you build the house and then a tornado came, blew it down, but you wasn't going to move across the country or the world, but you know you're in a place of the world where tornadoes come. You're going to build a better house. And if it took it down that time, the next time you're going to build a better house. If you don't, you're insane for building the same kind of house. You know what I mean? The definition of crazy and insanity is doing the same thing, expecting different results. You know what I'm saying? So for me, if you got beings around you and they cannot go two, three days without a possession or an episode, they are committed, you know what I'm saying, to a certain playbook and... They are very consistent in that playbook. You know what I mean? So it's it's us being optimistic when we look at things from a different angle and be like, oh, well, she's not consistent or oh, he's not consistent. Well, okay, look at where they are consistent at. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That That helps alleviate a lot of things that you have going on within. I'm not saying it's going to make everything better right away, but it gives you a starting point. It gives you a starting point. We all need starting points. If you give me a starting point, I know where I can go to. I can figure out the finish line because it's usually some kind of something that gives some kind of symbol or, or signal that says go this way or come that way. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Just understand, once they got them playbooks, they are locked into them playbooks. You can you can work with them if you're around them, you know what I'm saying, either at the jobs or if they're in your family, in your household, you know what I'm saying. You can work with them, but you have to put up bigger and stronger walls and barriers so that way your energy isn't extracting their energy. You know what I mean? So it's, it's kind of like two dogs being in the house and them not being affected by each other. The dogs aren't going to be affected by each other. We're not going to eat. And he's going like, oh, I'm hungry too. That He's affected. He didn't tell the other dog, hey, let's eat now. You know what I'm saying? It's just an energetic thing. So a, a lot of what we have going on in a lot of communication is body language, sign language, a lot of these other different things. You know what I mean? So they are consistent in what they do. You just have to be consistent in changing up your methods and your tactics, you know what I mean? So, when you get to that space where it's day number two or day number three, and you know it's about to be an episode that happens, you know what I'm saying? You can e either prepare yourself not to talk to that being if you're not in the house with them, you know what I'm saying? Or minimize communication. Or if you are in the space with these beings, you know what I'm saying? You got to get ready to put the walls and the barriers up, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just going to be mandatory because they have to have these episodes. It's mandatory. It's kind of like programming. You know what I'm saying? The more they program you, the more they program you, the more they can whip you around and warp you the way they need you or want you, you know what I mean? So, don't ever think that they aren't being consistent. They are extremely consistent in that other playbook. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't want to run up too long. Tapping everything down below. Peace and love to the kings and queens.